Hi and welcome back to the new Creations Tutorials. This week we're going to be making this beginner's macrame wall hanging. It's perfect for beginners because you learn all the basic knots in there. We're also going to be doing a DIY kit with this. So we'll be using our 4mm cotton string which I've sourced locally. It's absolutely beautiful the string, it's the perfect size for smaller pieces. It's single ply, it's 100% cotton and it's also made in the UK. So I'm going to link this kit down below for you guys to purchase on the website and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my 2 metre lengths and I'm going to fold them in half. Then I'm going to add it doing a reverse lark's head knot. So what I do is I put it behind the driftwood or dowel, I put it over the front like this and then I part it and then these two go through that loop. And just keep adding. Start in the middle and just keep adding your lengths to your dowel using the reverse like I said no. So now I've added 26 lengths at 2 metres and they're all in half so now they're all, they've all gone to 1 metre long. So what I make sure when I've done this is I just take a piece of string and I measure with the piece of string and make sure that the dowel at each side is the same length. So just to make sure there's 26 here pieces of string and they're all in half. So they've gone to one metre now, so this is one metre long. So now what I do is I find the centre. So I just count inwards. So here are my centre two. So I'm just going to put them over the side like this so then I can remember. I'm going to move you a bit closer for the next part. Now I've moved you a bit closer, I'm going to show you how to do the pattern. So we're going to start with square knots. So these are the two centre lengths. And I'm going to part them like this. So I'm going to do a square knot here and a square knot here. So start with this one. Take this length across the middle two. And this one you're going to put over and you're going to go under the two in the centre and then there's going to be a loop here, you're just going to pull that through. And then go backwards, so now you're going to do the opposite. So get this one, pull it across, looks like a number four. This one is going to go over, under and then it's going to come through this loop here and then pull up. And I'm going to do the same here. So this one goes across the two in the centre, this one comes over and this goes round the back. And this one here goes over round the back of this one 
I do have a video on how to do a square knot. If you just check in my videos, it should be there. I think it should be my la the last video that I did before this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm carry on. I'm going to carry on doing square knots. Right to the end of the dowel. So all the way underneath. So now you've got all your square knots right along the bottom, we're going to go into a decreasing square knot pattern. So again find your centre 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which these two in the centre. So we're going to do one here and then one here. So what you do is you get the four lengths underneath, so I've got two from this square knot here and two from this square, square knot here and I'm going to do one underneath it like this and then I'm going to go right along the bottom of this side Now we're on the next tier down now. So I've done the five across there and now we're going to do four across here. So if you can see, now I'm going in between. So it starts with six square knots at the top, then five, and then we go into four. So there's the pattern, as you can see it's like a decreasing square knot pattern goes into a, like an upside down triangle. So I'll start with 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and then 1. So that is the pattern that you're trying to get. So now I'm going to complete it on the other side. Now we've got our two decreasing square knot patterns, I'm going to do a framing double half hitch knot. So to do a double half hitch knot, you get this piece of string or cord right on the end and you're going to pull it across in the direction you want your knot to go. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the next cord here. So we're going to go this way, so I've got the next cord that's on the left of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round, get this cord and go round the top of it. So you're going round this one and then you're going to go through here. So you're going round and then you're pulling through. And then just basically do the exact same thing again, round and you're going through this loop here. So you can see it's like creating like a little loop there. So go round and then through that loop. And then I just give it a bit of a pull like this. 
and then I'll just pull that and then I'll give it a bit of a tug up there. So that is the first knot. Let's do another double half hitch. So you go round and through and then round again. You're going through this little this little loop here now. I do have a video on how to do this as well. I, I'm going to link that video down below in case you want to see how to do it in greater detail than this. So I'm going to go round again, round again. I'm just going to keep going. the centre, I'm going to get these two cords and I'm going to do just an overhand knot, like it's just a normal one, not a double, just a single because it looks a bit neater. And that's all framed and now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. this stage we're going to do another row of double half hitch knots. So I'm going to get the very end one again here and then I'm going to go round with the one next to it. So round, round, and it should just sit just underneath it like that. And again, I'm just going to frame, I'm going to go all the way down here and then all the way down here. So when you've got your two more rows of double half hitch knots, we're going to do another square knot in the middle but it's going to be slightly different. So what I'm doing this time is I'm going to get three cords from underneath this side and three from underneath this side. So that should make six. And then I'm going to get a cord from this side and a cord from this side. So these six in the middle are going to be my filler cords. And then I'm going to bring this one across the set, all these six in the middle. And then this one's going to go over this cord here, and then under the six in the middle, and then through this. So it's just like a square knot, but we're using six in the center rather than two. And then we're going to do the opposite way. So I'll take this one over here. This one is going to go over this one. And then through there, and that's how you do a square knot with more filler cords. You probably have seen these on Instagram or Pinterest where they have like a bigger square knot with they just literally put more filler cords in it, as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do to frame that is I'm going to come down here and do a kind of triangle. So 
So I'm going to frame it like this. So I'll show, start off showing you how to do that. So get the cord that you were already going down here with, so it should be here, just coming out of these double half hitch knots and you're going to put it in like a diagonal direction like this and then get this one here and go round this cord just like you did with the other one and go through this loop here and then push it up and again just make sure that you're checking that you're going in the right direction with your filler cord here. Now as you can see, my square knot isn't in the centre, it's slightly above, so I'm going to bring it down slightly. So I'm just going to loosen it. I think that's about the centre, isn't it? And then I'm going to tighten it again. You can redo it if you want, but I want it to be on the same level as these. So you could completely redo it if that's a bit hard for you to do, you know, loosen it and then tighten it again. Just make sure you're using the correct cord when you're doing this bit. So this is probably going to be the most difficult part because this is, there's nothing to like lie against so it's going to be the most difficult part to do. I'll just show you on the other side. So as you can see now I've created that diamond shape in the middle and I'm just going to get the two cords at the end and I'm just going to do just a normal overhand knot like that just to pull them together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these two cords right at the end here, not these ones, leave them, just these two right here. And I'm going to do just a double overhand knot that's going to frame our already created macrame pattern. So it's just going to frame it like that. It should sit underneath there. There we go. And then I'm going to add some one metre lengths. So I've done one metre lengths and I've put them in half. And I'm going to add them to this piece of string here. I'm just going to go over, well under sorry, and then over and then this is going to go through this loop. And 
again over and then I'm just going to fill this whole cord with macrame string I'll let you know how many it took So that took me 32 one metre lengths to fill that piece of cord there. Now we're going to start the next part of the pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece of string or cord here, right at the tip here. And I'm going to use this one to wrap around it. So we're just going to do the double half hitch knot again. But we're going to follow this line now. So as you can see I'm just doing it just underneath these reverse larks head knots. <laughs> So quite a common problem that we have when we do these double half hitch knots is it can become where you've got too much cord and it starts to get a bit bulky and gather a bit much. So what you could do to solve that problem is miss a cord out. So this cord here I'm going to miss it out and I'm just going to use the one next along. So a lot of people have problems where it starts, can you see how it's coming away from it? I'm not too bad because I could push that up, but if I carried on, it would become really, really tight and it would just look really, just not very flattering. So what I do is I can miss every other cord out. doesn't matter how often you leave the cord out, just go, use what you, use your own judgement. Like sometimes you can go back to using all the cords. And just use your own judgement, like, if you feel like it's getting too tight, miss a cord out. And there it just becomes, as you can see now, it's just starting to look a lot neater. It's not too tight. It's a great trick to use. So what I've done is I've gone all the way down here and I'm going to miss out the last six cords here and I'm going to leave them. So don't add these to this design and then do the exact same thing on the other side. create a little bit of a pattern here so we're going to take the cords that are in the filler cords of these and we're going to tie it in the centre here just 
just in a double over hand knot. And I'm going to add some more cords to these. There, now you've created this little shape and I had to use for the, I did 10 lengths, 10 metre lengths in half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more 2 metre lengths to here. So as you can see there's two, one either side of this pattern that I haven't used, cords. I'm going to add... two more to each side in two meters obviously I'm putting them in half and I'm doing a reverse lark's head knot again just as we did before So you've got three either side now. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do just a normal braid. So for a braid, if you're not sure how to do it, most of you probably did these when you were younger. Just take your middle braid pass this one under it and this one under that so you just pass in each one to the middle so this one's going to go under that one this one's going to go under that one this one under that one this one and you just carry on that pattern So I've plaited both sides down about 36 centimetres and I'm just going to make sure that they come into the centre without covering this pattern up. So they're going to frame it like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a piece of string around a metre long and I'm going to do a wrap knot here. So I'm going to bring you closer so you can see that. So now I'm going to do a wrap knot. So I'm going to bring them into the centre like I said. So I'm going to make a loop, bring these over each other because these are what I want to tie together. Make a loop and then the long, one side should be short and one side should be long. Can you can see that? So can you see this side's short and this side's long? And then it's got a loop at the top. So then bring the long piece around like this. Get your thumb, put it over, and then you're going to carry on wrapping. It's quite a fiddly one this, so just take your time. If even it takes you five goals, just, that's part of macrame, just taking your time with it. And then go round. Switch from each thumb and you're just going to wrap it around this loop. And then pass it through this loop here.
and pull your short cord down. I just give that top one a bit of a tug as well, just to keep it tight. And then cut off these ends. And just tuck them little ends in. Is your wrap knot. Now I'm just going to smarten the ends of it. 